Well, hello everyone. I've been noticing that a couple of people have been doing some videos on Tony Sheridan and the Beatles. And uh, one of them was Alan C. Records, and then I saw a video follow-up by Beatle Brad. So I figured I would get some of my Tony Sheridan and Beatles records together and uh, give you my presentation of what I have in my collection. Now, first, for those who don't know, Tony Sheridan was a British singer, and he patterned his style very much in the form of Elvis Presley. He sang like a British Elvis, if you will, and he was a little star in his own right. And uh, the Beatles' first recordings were done with a backed-up Tony Sheridan, and they were called the Beat Brothers, and uh, they made some recordings in Germany in 1961. So here's some of the records that I have in my collection. This one here is on MGM, and you can see we have stuff like My Bonnie on there, which is uh, the first real single that we know the Beatles from, as they were the, the Beat Brothers, backing up Tony Sheridan on the lead. That's a common record that you see in uh, the, the States. Here's another variation, Ain't She Sweet. There's the Beatles and Tony Sheridan. This is where it started, as it's called. You can see what I have here in my hand. This is a new form for me to, to do this video. I'm standing up rather than sitting down. The Amazing Beatles. Uh, these are not all uh tony sheridan songs they're not even all beatles songs on here but there are some so it qualifies okay next up we have this is one of my favorite covers the savage young beatles beatles and tony sheridan and of course i should mention that pete best we just saw in the back there was on drums. This one's uh, in the beginning, circa 1960. I always like that cover. All right, next up we have another Savage Young Beatles. This is a... Um, an album from France, nice cover, Savage Young Beatles, Beatles and Tony Sheridan. Here we have another variation. This one here is interesting. This is a, a pressing from Argentina. And it's called The Beatles First, which uh, interesting, interesting variation. You know, when you collect these, there are so many variations and so many different covers. You can only have so many, but I guess a lot of times I'm allured by whether the cover is cool or not. You know, I mean, how much stuff can you have on the same thing? But uh, well, here's one that's relatively cheap that I see. It's called 20 hits and of course they got a <laughs> a picture of the beatles uh, from shindig i believe on there i think that's a shindig performance yeah and uh that's later on of course in their careers and it has some tony sheridan stuff on here but also it has them with their first decca recording sessions a lot of these are mixed up with the decca recording sessions they did in january of 62 and the aforementioned tony sheridan stuff Okay, now here's uh, the last item I'm going to show you, but this is interesting. This is uh, Tony Sheridan and the Elvis Presley Band, and it's called Worlds Apart. And this is just a Tony Sheridan album by himself. Uh, there, there are no Beatles on here, but I thought I'd show this at the end. This is a Tony Sheridan record. And there's Tony. So, thanks everybody for checking in. Talk to you soon in the next video.